Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mama and the Bake Brigade. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a good um, Monday night? Tuesday night. Tuesday night. <laughs> See where I am? Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> it's been a roller coaster the past few weeks, has it not? Yes, roller coaster. Well, I went yesterday back to my regular doctor. Well, I had to go get an x-ray of my tailbone because... I've been struggling with my tailbone. It feels like I'm sitting on a spiked ball half the time. I have to sit in certain positions. I have to have pillows underneath that area. Um, it's very uncomfortable. And it feels like I'm sitting on a spiked ball. And even in my bed, I have to angle myself to where I'm not sitting direct, not laying directly on my tailbone. Um, so something is just not right. So, um... Anyway, my doctor sent me for an x-ray, so I went to the x-ray before I went to the doctor's appointment. But the, the the appointments were so close, he hadn't gotten the results back from the x-ray yet. But he did get the uh, blood test results and the um, urine culture results from last Wednesday. Good news is, um, all my blood counts were fine. All my my kidney and liver function and all that is fine. My sugar is still under control. Um, and, uh, my urine did not grow any bacteria. <sighs> so the big bad bug is gone. <laughs> so I can, can't even tell you how happy I was to hear that. <laughs> so the big bad bug that landed me in the hospital for five days is no longer an issue. So, uh, I'm just, I'm praising the Lord for that. You hear me? <laughs> I told him, I said, well, I had all these folks, all my prayer warriors pr praying, praying on that. And um, I'm so, 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 so grateful to finally have a clean bill of health. So, um, yes. And, uh, of course, I spent all day, uh, all this past weekend uh, trying to catch up on laundry. The whole laundry area in front of the, the, the whole floor in front of my uh, washer and dryer was covered in clothes. You couldn't even walk on the floor for the clothes on the floor. So I spent the whole weekend tackling that. And I overdid it a little. Cause yesterday I just, I just took a nap. I just, yesterday afternoon I just pff, laid down. I said, that's it, I'm taking a nap. So um, after, you know, appointments and all that, I just said, I'm taking a nap. But um, I've been taking naps lately and it's really not like me. Um, I'm struggling a lot with, I, of course, I, I also had a change in my bipolar medicine. Um, I'm, um, she's, what she's doing is she's having me take, uh, one of my old medicine and one of the new medicine for two weeks. And then I'll switch to taking two of the new medicine to kind of transition me, you know, to the new medicine and my body and, um, my, my brain are kind of fighting each other a little bit about that. I woke up sometime this in the middle of the night with the creepy crawlies on my skin, just feeling weird, weirded out, edgy. And I couldn't quite put my finger on what was, go you know, I don't know. But, um, and um, things with Will are not any better. They escalated and got worse last Thursday night. I'm not gonna go into great detail, but needless to say, um, it was heartbreaking and, uh, emotional and, um, bad, very bad. So, um, just can, if y'all would continue to pray for that situation, um, uh, because I, I don't know. Now he acts like none of that happened. Didn't ask for forgiveness, just act like none of that happened. And I can't go back to the way it was before that happened. I wish I could. But I keep seeing it in my head. So, anyway. On to brighter things. I did get some happy mail from my lovely friend Serena in um, Canada. And, um, and I also have a new project on the hook that I'm really excited about. Um... I'm, I'm designing uh, my own summer top, um, tunic top, 
um, and, and well, it's going to be, um, it's going to, it's going to be whether you can, you can, uh, either make yourself a, a long tunic top or you can make yourself a dress with it. Um, either, either one, you know, um, it, it'll be very customizable. Uh, and of course it starts with granny squares because <laughs> we all know I love granny squares. <laughs> So, um, but I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm taking the knowledge that, uh, I've, and the experience I've gotten doing those, uh, granny square pullover shirts, uh, sweaters and shirts. And I'm just, uh, taking that knowledge and, and a, a vision that I had in my head of what I wanted to do and just combining it. So, um, there will be a tutorial. I know everybody will want to know that. Yes, there will. I have to make a. I have to make a prototype first. I have to make. You know, I'm designing it as I go, but once I get everything down, and it, and it may take me a month, just to let y'all know, because this is a trial and error situation, and I haven't done anything like this from scratch. Not not a full top like this. I mean, I did a. I did a um, like a, a shrug, you know, and then I did a shawl that was out of my own head. Uh, that was different. Those were very simple. Uh, this is more complicated. Um, now I don't know about a written pattern. Um, maybe Amy and I will sit that, you know, converse and, and Amy with hooked on wish and she helped me with a written pattern for my shawl. Uh, she might be a source for me to, to bounce ideas off and come up with a written pattern for the top that I'm hoping to, you know, put together. But, um, this, I don't know if it's going to be, I'm going to say it's going to be, as far as um, skill level, more of an inter inter intermediate um, because it's going to assume that you know how to make a granny square. Um, well, I, I may throw that in, into the tutorial, how, how I do a granny square. Um, it's very simple. Um, so I may just throw that in there, how I make a granny square. And... Um, now I'm, I'm my prototype. I'm using um, using I love I, of course it's cotton because it's a summer top. So I'm using I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby, and uh, this colorway is called Brights. And then um, I'm also going to use this one, uh, which is turquoise. I'm using these two together, and this will be you know this will be the body. I'll, um, and it, I don't want to give too much away because people do steal other people's ideas on YouTube. Um, and I scoured YouTube and Amy scoured rival, Ravelry, or I, I can't never pronounce that right. Anyway, she looked on, you know, we looked at other sources for patterns and we haven't found anything that's similar to my idea. So, you know. Because I don't want to, I don't want to be accused of plagiarizing anybody's idea. I I want it to be an original, original idea. So we've already got a name for it, which I'm not going to reveal in this video, uh, <laughs> because well, this is just this is preliminary stages here, very, very preliminary stages. But I got five little, um, five, five, five round granny squares out of one of these. So, and that's using a um, eye hook, a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And that's without chaining one in between the clusters. Now, I did chain two on the corners, but I did not chain one in between my clusters. Um, I'm doing that um, not not to, to, to save yarn or anything like that, because I got plenty of this yarn. Just, to, you know, you know me, I got, I got the yarn. Um, yeah more than enough but um but this is um this is this is what we're working with so far and this is going to be like it's it's going to you know it's going to kind of resemble as far as the style and the way that it fits you it's going to resemble the granny square pullover sort of sort of okay but it's it's not going to be like form fitting type um a shirt it's gonna you know just be straight you know a lot of us don't like form fitting i don't like form fitting tops i'm just one of those people i don't like form fitting tops 
I don't have one of those farms that I want to be fitted. <laughs> I'm still a bit lumpy. <laughs> so I, I, I'm kind of still trying to hide in my clothes a little bit because I'm still a little lumpy. So we're, we're not trying to wear form fitting clothes at 50, you know, just not. Okay. But this, I like my clover hooks. Um, <laughs> but this is part of it and they will, and, uh, and I'm going to add some, what I've marked off here is my neck hole. Okay. And then I'm going to put some shoulder shaping on both sides. Okay. And that's all I'm going to tell you right now. Because, like I said, people steal other people's ideas. But, just to let you know, the prototype's going to be in the, these, these colors. The tutorial um, shirt will be in red. Because that's my second favorite color, just to let you know. <laughs> but there's a reason why it will be in red. And that will be revealed at a later time. Uh, but yes, red. And, um, but I think y'all will really love it. My ideas, I'm really hoping that I don't have to pull all this back and apologize at a later time. I'm really hoping that this is something I could focus on and, um, leave all my family troubles with the Lord. Um, I've given them to him and for, for God to work out. And, and I want to focus on this summer top and get my house in shape because my house is, it, it's, it's a hot mess, y'all. It's a hot mess. <laughs> so between, uh, I got we got a vet uh, a veterinary appointment t uh, tomorrow afternoon for Axel because Axel is still. Uh, I had to, I got I did finally get him to eat. Um, I bought some canned dog food from Walmart. Um, some chicken and rice. Um, it says chicken and rice on it. And I finally did get him to eat that. He he really went to town on that. So we bought several cans of that today when we went grocery shopping. Um, so he will eat that. Um, and he and he kind of intermittent with his favorite treats. Sometimes he'll eat them. Sometimes he won't. Um, he's he's not being able to jump up on stuff like he used to. Um, he's getting up on the couch. He's getting up on lower things like the couch. He can get up on. He's been sleeping on the couch in the living room. And then when he when he when he deems me me <laughs> worthy, he'll sleep in here in my room with me, and he'll get in this chair and sleep. And so, but uh, he's not he's not doing his usual follow me from room to room situation. Um, he's just not he's not. And but he's going. He hasn't had any more accidents in the house. He's been going outside to do his business. So there's that. Um, but I just want the vet to look him over. Uh, maybe give him a steroid shot for the fleas like usual to keep him from losing patches of hair because he's allergic to flea saliva. And so he'll, what typically happens when the flea fleas really get bad is that um, he'll just start losing patches of hair everywhere. And so um, if we can head that off this year, that'd be great. And so I'll um, get him a steroid shot and go ahead and get their flea medicine while I'm there. And... Um, and, and hopefully she gives me just, you know, gives me some sort of news that let, tells me something, you know, without getting too expensive. Because we all know vet, veterinarians can get very expensive. And I do have some money in savings, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to clean out my savings for it. Uh, hopefully not. I will if I have to because he's my fur baby. But um, I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping it's something simple. I really am. Um, I'm not quite ready to say goodbye to him. <sighs> not quite ready. So, anyway. But I'm very excited about this. Um, this these stitch markers mark off the neck. And then I'll put some shoulder shaping on that. So, that's, that's the project in the works. I'm um, excited about. And this yarn is so yummy. If you've never tried um, Hobby Lobby, I love this cotton. You really got to get some and try it. It's really wonderful. And this worked up so pretty. This Bright's yarn worked up so pretty. And um, so I, I can't wait to get the prototype put together. Um, 
it's, uh, you know, it's going to be like two panels, you know, one panel and, and another. I'll do two identical panels and then I'll seam them up and then I'll probably crochet on the little cap sleeves, you know, because it's for summer. So you don't want too much of a sleeve. But yeah, I'll probably crochet on the sleeves like I do did with the other stuff I've made. But um, let me show y'all what Serena sent me. It, well, this this was in there. This was a little um, necklace that was in there, um, in a and part of it. This is a little elephant with red ears, and this actually fits me. I hadn't been able to wear a necklace in like 25 years especially one this this short but I got this on myself and this was in a, a little bag and in, in, inside this uh, happy meal that she sent Let's show y'all the rest of it she successfully cheered me up I'll put it that way I was feeling pretty low I, um, between the medicine switching I, I, I know that's I know that's got to be a big part of it um, but she also included some of this um, instant coffee that she uh, that she she works for a company that sells makeup and um, a lot of other things, a lot of health food type stuff. But this is some instant coffee that she she um, has access to as part of the company she works for. And so this this is instant coffee, and it's pretty tasty. And so yeah, this is called Delish, and uh, it doesn't take very much of this coffee. It's pretty strong, but it has I believe it has um, chicory in it. I think this is the one that has chicory in it. I was trying to look real quick, but it's it's very good, and um, and it's instant. So you just uh, put it in a put it in a cup with some hot water, and you're good to go. And some creamer, of course, because I'm not I'm not drinking coffee without creamer. <laughs> just not gonna do it anyway. But she uh, included this little bag of seemingly random things, but really cool stuff. And uh, like this, um, like this keychain with a peacock. I'll show it to y'all. I don't think she even knew that I like peacocks. But isn't that beautiful? I really love that. I'm, I'm, I might have. Uh, I don't know. I might. I might take this part off and just have the peacock as as a keychain part part of my regular keychain. Um, for my car keys, but that is so pretty, and I don't know, but I, I like, I'm going to put it somewhere where I can look at it all the time, because I like it, but, um, and there's some stickers in here, and some stitch markers, and a lanyard, and just some other little stuff in here, I'm not going to bore y'all with that, but I did make some conversation with her about possibly learning how to knit socks <laughs> maybe so she sent me some sock yarn and this is that premier fruits yarn and so should i decide to take i have the i have the knitting needles still over there i haven't done anything with them but there are uh dpn needles the double pointed needles uh which is what they use use to make socks so i'm still toying with that idea I hadn't quite closed the door on that, uh, so uh, because the needed needles are still here, so um, there's that. So no excuses. Um, she also sent me some lip gloss. I haven't tried it yet, but I will next time I decide to put makeup on. I don't know when that'd be. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not a big makeup wearer, but occasionally I do. And then she made me this beautiful scarf. Um, I think this might be one of um, Juan's um, patterns or tutorials. Uh, but it's really beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And I know she told me what yarn she used, but I'm not, I, I'm not sure I remember correctly. So I don't want to say it and then be wrong. But look at all the texture. She does such a beautiful job. So pretty. It almost feels like cotton, but I know it's acrylic because it's so soft. But, yep, them some, them, them some crochet acrobats that I won't do. <laughs> Popcorn stitches. 
but I love it. I really do. And it will definitely come in handy when it gets cold again because the thinner I get, the, the more weight I lose, the easier I am to get cold. So, and then of course there's a pattern in here for a bag for some yarn that she sent me last time. So there's that pattern and it's for the Karen uh, coconut cakes. In the last bag she sent me, she sent me coconut cakes. So this is a bag uh, this is this is a pattern for a bag to make with you know to make with those because I wasn't quite quite sure what to make with with that uh, that yarn, but uh, it looks like you double um, you double double the yarn up. You use two strands, which is good because it's a, l a little on the thin side. And then she sent me a personal card, so that is my happy mail from my sweet friend Serena, and I'm ever grateful because it did definitely cheer me up when I needed cheering up. I got to put the coffee in the kitchen now that I've shown it to y'all. Um, uh, I don't have any new yarn to show you. Sorry about that. <laughs> but, um, oh, excuse me, getting dry. But like I said, I'm hopefully, hopefully by the end, uh, in the next couple of weeks, I should have, uh, if I could just sit down and focus on the top and not, not anything else, I can, um, I'm probably gonna have to clean my room before I can do that because my room is really bad right now. So I'm gonna have to focus on my, uh, you know, once I get my room cleaned up because there's a lot of clutter and just stuff, stuff that got stacked up and, oh, just get that out of my way. Oh, get that out of my way. And so I'd stack th just things stacked up in clutter. Uh, so I need to get that sorted uh, it to help help me focus because right now all I want to do is focus on the things that I keep looking at that need to be done so I think if I can tackle that sometime this week and get my room straight that will help me focus on the top that I want to finish designing so um, so that I the sooner I get it finished designing and get a working prototype the sooner I can do the tutorial so I have this uh, this tripod that oh, a phone holder that uh, that's holding the phone now that I'm hoping will be what helps me do the tutorial a bit easier. So because um, it's gonna like I said it's gonna be two identical um, panels that reseam up. You know we make um, we'll make space for the armholes. You know and this is strictly gonna be something like you get a you uh, to, to do measurements for yourself uh you just get a top that you that you have you know get one of your favorite tops that you know fits you the way you want it to fit you and lay it on your bed and then you know you'll make your your beginning granny squares you know however many you need to go across uh this area right here right above your bus line this and and right it'll it'll you you just need to make them like right here between the top of your bust and right under your neck and and you want it to go all the way to right there where your where a seam would be so that's what you know that's what we're going to be working with is we want the, the 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 row the row of granny squares just to stretch all the way across you you know to stretch all the way across you like so and then you're going to put some shoulders in on, on either side of the neck hole. And it, I'll explain it all. It, I know it sounds weird. Uh, or, you know, it not making much sense. But it will. It will. It's, it's all stuck in here. <laughs> I just got to get it out, out of here and into a concept. But it's there. And um, I think it'll work. I hope it'll work. But, uh, cause I was just, I was looking at all these summer tops and I just wasn't happy with anything that I found, you know, it's like, mm, that doesn't really work for my body type. Mm, that's a little too complicated. Don't want to do that. Um, you know, and I just kept running into all that, you know, and I just, I, you know, I don't know if it's the bipolar in me or, or, or what, but I was just, you know, I'd look, look for summer tops I looked on Rivalry, I looked on all different things, and looked on YouTube, and I never could quite find the thing that, you know, just really said, you need to make that. I never could find the thing that really just motivated me 
to go out and make it and make that and you know and so you know so i said you know what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to create your own you know something that's uniquely you that really just works and so here we are <laughs> that's what i'm doing that's what i'm hoping to do so um we're crossing our fingers that it'll actually work and that it'll, you know, my vision will actually come to fruition. And my goal is to create a top that you don't have to wear a tank top under. So I know this little, this little area here, you know, will be a little open, open-ish with the granny squares. But I have a plan. So stick with me. St hang in there with me. And, you know, hopefully it all works out. And hopefully I can put this, pull this off. <laughs> and I will share it with y'all because that's, you know, that's, that's what I want to do. Because maybe someone out, someone out there is th thinking the same thing. They look, they looked high and low and they can't find a top that really just speaks to them. And maybe when I get this out of my head and into concept and they see it, they'll be like, that's what I wanted. So I'm hoping that it will speak to uh, a lot of other people. So, anyway, that's the goal. And this is the first time I've been ex really excited about something in a while. These last six months, uh, health issue after health issue, had just really robbed me of a lot of things. And so, um, I'm really just ready to go. Ready, ready to do something. And um, I'm just ready for this life to start again and so hopefully hopefully this is the beginning of something beautiful and um i thank you all for hanging in with me um i know there's been long you know three or four days in between these type videos and i apologize for that uh, i'm just struggling and um i'm just trying my best so um i'm hope hoping to bring better content this spring and summer um, we still have Johnny's birthday next month. Um, Johnny's birthday is May 27th, which just so happens to fall on Memorial Day this year. There's always that possibility with his birthday that it falls on Memorial Day. It has several times over the years, but he turns 25 on May 27th. And he wants to do a live uh, stream on his birthday. He told me that um, a month ago, probably, that he wanted to do a live stream on his birthday. We've done that before where we give away yarn and prizes. Uh, so I've got some yarns set away, uh, put away, some brand new yarn and plastic uh, uh, set aside for um, his his live, his birthday live. We haven't set a date for that if we're gonna do it exactly on his birthday or the day after or the day before. Um, and we'll probably do it sometime at like an 8, 8 p.m. type situation, uh, uh, you know, that way, everybody that's going to do something during the day on Memorial Day, you know, can go ahead and do whatever they're going to do. And we're not taking away from anybody's family time or, you know, ceremony time if they're doing things for veterans or what have you. Uh, so I like to do it in the evening, 8 p.m. ish. Uh, that way, you know, whatever you have planned for that day, you've already got that done. You've got dinner out of the way. And you could sit down and just enjoy a get together with your friends on the live, maybe win some yarn, you know, and just have a good time in and celebrate John. Uh, because let me tell you, uh, that boy has really been for, been here for me. Um, I can't I can't imagine what would have happened to me had he not been in that hospital room with me for those five days. Uh, I would have lost my sanity. I know that. I I, I would have probably been put in their psych ward. Um, that boy is my rock and, um, he deserves everything and anything he could possibly get good for his birthday. Um, y'all let me know if this is something y'all, y'all are interested in. I'm thinking about putting a wish list, an oh, Amazon wish list together just for him. Um, and putting that in the description along with our happy mail address. Really, truly just birthday cards from all over the country would make him happy. Um, but I know other, you know, other people like to, some people like to do more and, and have in the past. 
So if y'all would like to see a wish list in the description box, just strictly with stuff for him, let me know that. I'll put that together and put it in there. Um, I know I've been asked about that a couple of times by different people. So, sorry, Theo just tried to jump on my bed and failed. It was a little comical. What's the matter, fat boy? Can't you do it? <laughs> sorry, that was just funny if y'all could have seen it. It's like he went to jump and then he just, <laughs> and it just didn't happen for him. What's the matter, Scooby-Doo? Huh? Let's see if I can move this down and show. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> oh, Scooby. <laughs> it was just funny. He does that all the time. He tries to jump on the bed and then he back on the floor. <laughs> oh, a little comic relief there, Theo. We appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> One of our neighbors has this uh, really low to the ground uh, bully dog. Uh, a bully is a is a, a is a pit bull breed, but it's 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 even shorter than Theo and really round, and the head's really big. And, uh, a lot of y'all probably know what I'm talking about when I say a bully bully dog, but it's 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 a very you know um, bloated looking. Um, they're they're often nicknamed hippos. Uh, because they kind of a dog hippo situation. Well, every time I pass this dog, it tries to chase. I'm in my van, in my minivan. It tries to chase my minivan. <laughs> so I didn't know what, you know, so the young man was restraining the dog as I was coming around the corner. So I stopped and rolled down the window and I said, that sure is a pretty dog. And he said, yeah, he said, but she just wants to chase your car. I already chatted a, a couple of minutes and then I bid him adieu, you know. <laughs> but yeah, she wanted to chase my car. And I told him, I said, I have a couple of dogs. And I said, uh, one pit bull mix and a black lab. And he said, no, any females? And I said, nope, males. <laughs> Neutered males. <laughs> I wouldn't dare not have a fixed dog. Nope. I believe in spay or neuter. I really do. I believe it helps their their health, and I believe in, in uh, controlling the pet population. Oh, and another thing. I know why I haven't been hearing the, um, the Labradoodles. They're gone. They're moving out next door, and the Labradoodles aren't, aren't even the, over there anymore. Yay! <laughs> I love you, Bubba. <laughs> but yeah, no more Labradoodles. Yeah. No more barky barky all the time. And you know what? Because they don't bark. They're not over there barking all the time. The the dogs in the neighboring yards, they, they've stopped all their barking too. It's wonderful. It's quiet. <laughs> it's hard to believe that it's that quiet in the city. Yes, yes. He's always shaking his head. Go lay down, Bubba. Go lay down. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's quiet once again in, in my neighborhood. So, mm, I mean, I, don't, I guess they're going to sell that house next door. They, they, re, they re completely redone it before they moved in, in it. They completely re re renovated that house from top to bottom. And then did, redid the yard, the back front yard, the backyard, the whole nine yards. Put in this big old eight-foot fence. And, I mean, they put a lot of money into that place before they moved in and brought their dogs over there and now they're moving out and i'm like i don't even i don't even think they've been over there a year it took them at least a year to renovate and then they've lived there less than a year so i don't know if they're just house flippers and they just you know wanted it to be lived in before and work you know, work that way they could work out anything that needed to be fixed or whatever i don't know but um we never spoke to them really anyway, other than knowing that they were Charlie and Steve. But, um, you know, it's all good. <laughs> I won't miss their dogs. <laughs> and they were rarely home to speak to, so it's good. It's fine. Uh, let's just hope that the next neighbors we get over there will um, either have quieter dogs or have less dogs. <laughs> less than six Labradoodles and one little short dog. Yeah, but, um, 
Yeah, I thought I thought maybe something had happened to Shadow, the little black stray cat, but I saw him today and he looked fine. <laughs> so he's still alive and well and doing whatever he does. So he's fine. And um, the Labradoodles are gone. But uh, anyhow, I, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I, you know, I have missed y'all. And uh, hopefully I can get some more content soon. I will report progress on the top as, as I get, as I get, as I make progress. I will show y'all progress as soon as I have some. Uh, I know I have other projects that uh, I did end up frogging the hat. Frog the hat. I'm going to redo it in cotton. Uh, I got, I got some other colors of cotton. I will re retry that in cotton instead of that thicker acrylic. I think it'll be better in cotton. It was, she, she, uh, Jaden Stitch's uh, bucket hat is what I'm referring to. Her new bucket hat tutorial that she came out with right before Easter. She made it in cotton. I don't know what made me think to, to do it in that thicker acrylic, but I'll do it in cotton and see if it comes out. See if I can manage it uh, in cotton. So, um, but I just, I couldn't, all the stuff was on, on me and I just lost interest in finishing the hat. So, but I will try again with some um, cotton and see if I can manage to make it. Um, I don't know if I'll wear it or not because I don't know if I'm a bucket hat kind of girl. <laughs> I do like those other hats I made. I probably, you know, I really like those a lot. And I'll probably make me a summer hat, out, uh, a cotton hat out in, in that pattern because I do like those. And um, I did wear my little lavender colored one when it was raining here because I didn't have an umbrella. So I used that to cover my head in the rain to keep myself from getting sick. And that worked just fine. And I didn't get the cold or anything from all the rain we had the other week. Oh, the last week. Last week, week before, something like that. Uh, but uh, it, things just kind of run together at this point. <laughs> But uh, I got appointments to reschedule with John's stuff. I got to call, I got to email or call that lady tomorrow and get his uh, Zoom call thing back on schedule. And then I got to fill out a th thing that I got in the mail and take that in. And then he should be good to go. So uh, we'll get that going. But uh, yeah, th things are looking up. Things are looking up as far as most, most, most of my life is looking up. I'll put it that way. Most of it is. But uh, I love y'all and so does Jesus. And please, please remember to adopt. Don't shop. Your best friend could be waiting for you at the shelter or the rescue. Mine are lounging on the floor over here. <laughs> and I will see y'all again soon. Bye now.